Welcome back to another journey through the golden age of gaming. Today, we're diving into the magical world of one of the most beloved adventure games of the early 90s. King's Quest VI Air Today, Gone Tomorrow. Released by Sierra Online in 1992, this classic point-and-click adventure is often hailed as one of the finest entries in the King's Quest series, thanks to its rich storyline, memorable characters, and groundbreaking graphics for its time. King's Quest VI stands out not just as a game, but as a cultural milestone that epitomizes the era of floppy disks, VGA graphics, and the sweet symphony of MIDI soundtracks. Designed by Roberta Williams, the queen of adventure gaming and written by Jane Jensen, who would later become famous for the Gabriel Knight series, King's Quest VI brought together a powerhouse team to deliver an unforgettable experience. One of the game's standout features is its non-linear gameplay, which was quite revolutionary for its time. Players can explore the islands in any order they choose, each presenting its unique set of challenges and puzzles. This freedom not only increases replayability, but also allows players to feel like true adventurers charting their path through an unpredictable world. King's Quest VI was a trailblazer in many ways. It introduced multiple endings based on the player's choices, adding depth and consequence to the gameplay. This was a novel concept that influenced many future games in the genre. The inclusion of extensive voice acting, featuring the talents of actors like Robbie Benson as Alexander, added another layer of immersion, making it one of the first games to utilize full voiceovers so effectively. As we look back, it's clear that King's Quest VI was more than just a game. It was an experience that captivated players and pushed the boundaries of what adventure games could be. It set a high bar for storytelling, interactivity, and visual design that many games still strive to reach today. Our story begins with Prince Alexander of Daventry, haunted by dreams of Princess Casima, whom he met briefly during the events of King's Quest V. Casima had returned to her homeland, the land of the Green Isles, and Alexander, driven by his love for her, sets sail to find her. Unfortunately, his journey is fraught with peril and a violent storm leaves him shipwrecked on the Isle of the Crown, one of the many islands that make up the land of the Green Isles. Alexander's adventure kicks off on the beaches of the Isle of the Crown. As he begins his search for Casima, he discovers that all is not well in the kingdom. The once peaceful land is under the sinister influence of Abdul Alhazred, the vizier, who has seized power and locked Casima away in her castle. Alhazred's nefarious plan is to marry Casima and solidify his control over the Green Isles. Alexander must find a way to reach her and thwart Alhazred's schemes. Throughout his journey, Alexander encounters a diverse cast of characters, each adding depth and color to the story. Even the villainous vizier Alhazred is more than a one-dimensional antagonist, with his dark motives and manipulative tactics adding tension and urgency to Alexander's quest. King's Quest VI boasts multiple endings, a feature that was quite innovative at the time. These endings are influenced by the player's actions and decisions, providing a personalized conclusion to Alexander's epic journey. Whether it's a bittersweet farewell or a triumphant victory, each ending wraps up the story in a way that feels both satisfying and earned. The plot of King's Quest VI is a masterful blend of adventure, romance, and intrigue. It's a story that not only captivated players in the early 90s, but continues to be cherished by fans of classic adventure games. So, if you're ready for more, stay tuned as we explore the gameplay mechanics that make this timeless tale so engaging. King's Quest VI uses the classic point and click interface that Sierra was known for. Players navigate Prince Alexander through the land of the Green Isles using a mouse cursor, interacting with objects and characters by clicking on them. The game features an icon-based system where different actions like walking, looking, talking, and using items are represented by distinct icons. This intuitive design allows players to easily explore their surroundings and experiment with different actions to solve puzzles. The game's world consists of several interconnected islands, each with its unique environment and set of challenges. Players can visit these islands in different orders, making each playthrough feel unique and encouraging exploration. Each island presents its own set of puzzles and characters, requiring players to think creatively and use items from one island to solve problems on another. This interconnectedness enhances the sense of adventure and discovery as players piece together clues and uncover the secrets of the Green Isles. At the heart of King's Quest, six are its puzzles, which range from logical conundrums to inventory-based challenges. 
players must use their wits and pay close attention to the environment to solve these puzzles. Some puzzles require careful observation, while others need specific items or interactions with characters. The inventory system is straightforward, with players able to access and combine items through a simple interface. This system encourages experimentation and exploration, as players must try different combinations and uses for their items to overcome obstacles. The dialogue system is designed to be engaging and informative. Players choose from a list of dialogue options, each leading to different responses and potential outcomes. These interactions add depth to the game's narrative and provide insight into the world and its inhabitants. Unique to King's Quest VI is the inclusion of a physical booklet known as the Book of Clues. This booklet contains essential information for solving some of the game's puzzles, adding an extra layer of immersion and challenge. Players must refer to this booklet to decode messages and find hints that are not available in the game itself. This physical element of gameplay harkens back to a time when games often included supplementary materials to enhance the experience. King's Quest VI was a visual marvel for its time, utilizing hand-painted backgrounds and detailed character animations to create a rich and vibrant world. The game was designed for VGA graphics, offering a palette of 256 colors that allowed for stunningly detailed and colorful environments. Each of the Green Isles is distinct, with its own unique aesthetic that enhances the sense of exploration and discovery. These hand-painted backgrounds are not just static images. They're filled with intricate details and subtle animations that bring the world to life. Leaves rustle in the wind, water ripples in ponds, and flames flicker in torches, creating a dynamic and immersive environment. The animations are smooth and detailed, whether it's Alexander climbing a treacherous cliff on the Isle of the Sacred Mountain, navigating the maze on the Isle of the Beast, or interacting with the quirky inhabitants of the Isle of Wonder. These animations enhance the gameplay experience, making the world feel more cohesive and engaging. King's Quest VI also features several cutscenes and cinematic sequences that advance the story and add dramatic flair to key moments. These sequences are beautifully rendered and help to highlight important plot points, such as Alexander's shipwreck, his first encounter with Casima, and the final showdown with the Vizier. The use of these cinematics was quite advanced for the time, showcasing the game's ability to blend narrative and gameplay seamlessly. The soundtrack of King's Quest VI, composed by Mark Siebert, is a masterful blend of orchestral and MIDI music that perfectly captures the game's magical and adventurous spirit. Each island has its distinct musical theme that sets the tone for the environment. The Isle of the Crown features regal and uplifting melodies, while the Isle of the Sacred Mountain has more mystical and ethereal tunes. The music adapts to the gameplay, becoming more intense during moments of danger and more serene during exploration, enhancing the emotional impact of the game. One of the most groundbreaking features of King's Quest VI was its use of full voice acting, a rarity in games of that era. The game features a talented cast of voice actors, including Robbie Benson as Prince Alexander, who deliver their lines with emotion and personality. The voice acting adds depth to the characters and enhances the storytelling, making interactions more engaging and memorable. The graphics and sound are integral to the game's enduring appeal. The hand-painted backgrounds, detailed animations, and dynamic cutscenes create a visually stunning world while the enchanting musical score, ambient sounds, and voice acting bring it to life. These elements work together to immerse players in the magical and adventurous land of the Green Isles, making King's Quest VI a true masterpiece of its time. Upon its release in 1992, King's Quest VI was hailed as a masterpiece of the adventure gaming genre. The game showcased the pinnacle of what adventure games could achieve. It combined an engaging and non-linear storyline with innovative gameplay mechanics and top-tier production values, the game was a commercial success and received critical acclaim for its intricate puzzles, rich narrative, and immersive world. The collaboration between Roberto Williams and Jane Jensen resulted in a story that was both deeply immersive and emotionally engaging. Jensen's later work on the Gabriel Knight series would continue to explore mature and intricate storytelling, cementing her reputation as a master of narrative in gaming. The game was also a pioneer in sound design, featuring one of the earliest uses of full voice acting in a video game. This added a new layer of immersion and character depth that was previously unattainable. The success of King's Quest VI's voice acting paved the way for future games to incorporate more sophisticated audio design and performances. King's Quest VI 
also played a crucial role in cementing the legacy of the King's Quest series as a whole. The series, which began in 1984 with King's Quest, was instrumental in defining the adventure game genre. Each installment built upon the innovations of its predecessors, and King's Quest VI is often regarded as the pinnacle of the series. King's Quest VI is more than just a game. It's a landmark in the history of adventure gaming. Its innovative storytelling, technological advancements, and lasting influence have cemented its place as a timeless classic. Whether you're revisiting it for nostalgia or discovering it for the first time, King's Quest VI offers an unforgettable journey through the land of the Green Isles. In today's gaming landscape, where graphics and technology have advanced by leaps and bounds, King's Quest VI reminds us of the importance of storytelling, creativity, and player engagement. It harks back to a time when games were crafted with care and passion, focusing on delivering memorable experiences rather than just impressive visuals or mechanics. For both seasoned gamers and newcomers, revisiting or discovering King's Quest VI is a journey worth undertaking. King's Quest VI is a shining example of what makes retro gaming so special. It's a game that not only stands the test of time, but also continues to inspire and entertain. Whether you're drawn in by its rich narrative, challenging puzzles, or beautiful world, King's Quest VI offers an adventure that is both timeless and unforgettable. Thank you for joining us on this nostalgic journey through one of the greatest adventure games of all time. If you haven't experienced King's Quest VI, now is the perfect time to embark on this magical quest. Until next time, keep questing and keep gaming.